All righty, it is Luffy, Kid, and Law against the Navy, and an admiral is just on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 399 and 400 of our One Piece watch today. We made it to the big 400. Very exciting. Meanwhile, Rayleigh, literally Roger's right hand man, is just chilling here on the archipelago. Who knows why and who knows anything anymore, apparently. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell and let's hop into it. <laughs> That is so gross. That's all they care about is celestial dragons. He's just tossing the guy's head still. Oh my god. Yep. They got fat bounties for a reason. So is he still alive? Like, does he does he just chill as a head now? Body feels hot. Is it on fire? Oh, it is. Wait, how is it on fire? Oh, that is so messed up. Why is it hot? Dude, the like stands. <gasps> wait, wait, can he manipulate like multiple people? No way. Oh, we got, wait, he actually pulled the blade out. How is this man's bounty? Only like 108. Dog. Luffy's just like, all right, third gear. I don't care. Bro's just skipping second. Everybody else is flexing. Why not? So maybe Law just lays low, but he, his power seems so broken. And then kids just levitating them. They're all just flexing, man. It's just the, the, the sheer scale of those powers. Dog, it's even reaching in here. Oh my gosh. It's sort of like how like Aokiji's powers, it goes all the way across the sea. Like his AOE for, it seems like not just metal, like not just metal, but like weapons in particular. Oh my gosh. Dog, he's making like a weapon out of the weapons. my gosh he made a fist dog this is insane this is so absurd it just says death on his fingers that is so cool wait what did they call oh wait they called him the surgeon of death because he had cuts people up oh my gosh i wonder what buggy would think of him buggy is like this but like he does it to himself dog these three together are like absolute like they're unbeatable like menaces like ah classic law such young pirates young and roaring to go luffy's so small <laughs> that's not a very good finish <laughs> i think kid is my favorite character design in the show thus far right next to either kuma or like maybe crocodile kuma crocodile and kid are by like top three designs in the show thus far gecko moria might be up there too i'm not even trolling yeah you guys watch that and you're going to still fire back that is incredible you have to admire the resilience it's a little brain dead and naive but yeah they're just running at them <laughs> wow, Luffy's are. Oh, I guess it, it depends on how long he uses it that he's. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, technically, they would be rivals. The pirates are pirates. <laughs> oh. Oh, they are getting like a death stare. They really didn't like that. Oh, there's Killer. Oh, uh, this name makes sense. I just murdered that man. He's like shocked by Luffy saying that? Laughed at and ridiculed. Oh, but Luffy has the same goal. Oh. Sea of death. Hell yeah, he like gained respect for Luffy. It's like a naive dream, but they have the same one. Not naive, but like, I think a lot of people see it as like childish. It's like this all encompassing treasure to find. It's like the ultimate pirate treasure, the ultimate pirate hunt. Oh, bro called him by his name. Beppo the bear, let's go. Oh my God. Okay, dude. He's, he's talented. Oh, he speaks too. I don't know why I'm shocked Chopper speaks. Does he just know martial arts? You gonna free him? I liked that moment with uh with Law and Kid. Well, Law didn't say anything, but Kid's saying how they've been laughed at and whatnot for wanting to find the One Piece. It's kind of cool. I don't know which of the two I can I like more between them. They have different aspects about them that I like. I think Kid takes the cake though. Duval! Yeah! 
No one said handsome. Not even remotely. Get out of here, you goofball. Life is rosy. If anything happens to them on the way out, I'm going to be so sad. I have like a really bad feeling they're going to run into the Admiral. I guess the island is enormous. That'd be really just bad luck. The straw hats are stepping in, baby. Oh my gosh. At least he kept running. Hey, you leave Duval alone. You got powerful allies now, Duval. You should be grateful. God, dude, that's... I, I, uh, she scared him. Oh my gosh. They're, they're his biggest fans. We have to. I like how they're like letting the rest of the straw hats step in. So did what, what happened to Kid and Law? Are they just vibing? Yeah, they're all making their escape. Dude, Rayleigh looks like he's having the time of his life. I imagine like it's because like nothing ever happens here, but still, I love how much fun he's having. Yeah, look at him, bro. <laughs> I mean, imagine he's he's seen many adventures like this, having been Roger's right hand man. Thanks, Nami. And she just murdered all of them. Oh, oh, Law took it off. God, his blade is enormous, man. Yeah, I guess he used his power. Pirate Captain John Bart. Oh, like join his crew. Oh, shoot. So we now we know he uses his blade for his power. Oh, dang. Bro's just recruiting as they're leaving. What do I say? Give your things to Luffy. I guess for starting all this ruckus. And guess who's going to be behind them all? Wait for it. That there he is. <laughs> Duval looks so disappointed. It can't. <laughs> oh, wait. Rayleigh's going to step in. Rope can probably just enter creative mode and delete their boats. At this point, anything's possible. Oh, oh shoot. Wait, did it actually hit kid? Huh? <gasps> what? Why is Kuma here? Oh my god! No shot! There is absolutely no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, and we know what he does now. Do we know his powers? This is madness. This is insanity. Oh, poor Beppo. Oh my gosh. Wait, that just changes everything. Kuma's here. And Kuma's here to fight Kid. Oh gosh. It seems like Law and his squad kind of made it out though. <laughs> Why did Beppo mention that as they're escaping? I guess because he has to take orders from him. Luffy, you cannot be serious, bro. We got to leave this island. Oh, what? What? Isn't that Duval? What? What is this? Frankie, of course, bro. Of course. Classic Frankie. Frankie's the one that entered creative mode. Why am I? Why did I not predict it? Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh, Lost still here. Oh man. Oh man. This is wild, bro. We know how freaking OP Kuma is too. Mm -hmm. And an admiral's on his way too. That just makes it even worse. God, kid looks so sick with that like form. Let's say form, he just has a bunch of stuff. Oh. 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 Oh, he's the target. Why is Law the first target, not kid? What? Captain. Yeah, I'm not, I shouldn't be too shocked, but it's just, dude, seeing him, he's such a menace, man. Like, Law or Kuma? Oh my gosh, he's just standing. How? Ooh. They need to get out of here fast. What? What is this? You know, Ross and Shuriken? What is Ross? Oh, he's got his glove off. He's got the glove off. That is an insane Mark, shot. Oh my gosh, dude. I need this as a wallpaper, brother. My God. Oh, dude, this show, this show. What is happening anymore? Oh, it just sets up these big villains and stuff. Like, like I said, seeing Kuma at the end of Thrower Bark. If he had shown up, it would have been like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But knowing his sheer power and having been introduced to Kid and Law is, is perfect. It is mwah. episode 400. Big milestone let's go so are they going to peterman's just kick him out and use his hideout 
Thanks, Duval. Uh, what are they holding? Are they holding that for a background? Oh my gosh, they are. That is such a good bit. It like hurts my face to see him wink. Aww, they even got her backpack. Aww, what a nice fella, Duval. Thank you, man. What a what a full circle he's made. Life is rosy, riders. I love those guys, man. Back to the bar. She has no idea what's happening on this island, bro. Kind of anxious. I feel like they need to leave. I guess the Admiral will go in the front door, so they're a little further away. Maybe who he is, probably. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got so right to the point. Dude. Dude. Usopp took a sip just to do a, a spit take. Oh, you didn't realize it? God dang, Robin. Oh my gosh. It's like a celebrity. It's so cool, though. Like, I'm like, like fanboying. Shut up, Brooke! Oh my gosh! He doesn't know about Roger! Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, no wonder he, take, he has such a liking towards Hachan. Luffy's just stuffing his face after he finds out he's with Roger's vice captain. Sun pirates. The Arlong pirates were the sun pirates? Yeah, true. Did he just escape? Hey, you might want to pay attention to Luffy, I'm gonna be honest. This guy's kind of a big shot. Oh, chopper hard at work. What? What? They made it sound like it? <gasps> what? Why would he turn himself in? I always said, how did Roger get kidnapped if he was the king of the pirates? Like, huh? What? Oh, oh shoot. Why would he turn himself in, though, to flex the might of the Navy? Oh! Brother! He was their doctor! Oh. He made it to the end. Crocus was Roger's doctor? Dog, no wonder whenever they were leaving, he like, he said Roger's name in his head. Hey, wait, he lied. Wait, so he did leave Laboon. He left Laboon for three years while he was their doctor. Certain group. Oh my gosh. He wanted to find them. Oh. Dang, dude. I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, why, what would be the point of turning himself in instead of just dying from the illness? Do you want to go out a hero? Maybe? What, by being king of the pirate or quote king of the pirates? Like buggy. Even though he wouldn't be a part of it, the, the new age of pirates looking for the One Piece. Mm. And that's Roger and Rayleigh. Rayleigh. Wow, there could just be, just be pirates out there randomly that were his, part of his career. Wow. It makes so much sense now how the how he, he was executed and they didn't catch him. I was like, how does a pirate that becomes king of the pirates get caught? He doesn't. He turned himself in. I think it is because he wanted the image to, to go out a hero. And he kind of vilified the Navy, though, in that sense, too. Mm. Inspired many. That's why he wanted to do it. I guess it was a win for him and a win for the Navy because it allowed the Navy to flex his power, too. Dude, what a lore drop. Oh, my gosh. Why? He didn't want to see it happen? Damn. Damn. He lives on in the new age. That's what he wanted. Why did he turn himself in? Yeah. Yeah, it backfired on them. Wow. Damn. God. Into a phoenix. He didn't go out and the whisper into the night. Holy. And he knew that as he died. Never laughed. God. That is so cool, man.
He still speaks so highly of him. Dude, what an what a lore drop though. It makes that that makes that that make way more sense now. But just anytime we I mean anyone close to Roger is able to give us a first point person point of view, it's just uh oh. He got chills. <laughs> oh. He did. He knew what he was doing. That's why he said he won't die. He inherently does live on. Gosh. He said, yeah, a bunch of them. Shanks was there. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of him. <laughs> oh, gosh. The two of them were apprentices? On Roger's ship? I knew they were kids together, right? But I didn't think it was on Roger's ship. Mm -hmm. Both for Luffy. I cheerfully spoke about you. Aww. Aww. Damn! Oh gosh. I'm, I'm cheesing, bro. Oh. <laughs> Shanks got some secrets too. Probably, yeah. I wonder what Shanks' role will be if Whitebeard does go to war with the government and the warlords. They're both emperors. Oh my gosh. Bro, why are we so chill? We know an admiral's coming. Oh, it's on the house. Why did Robin look sad? Wait, she looks really sad. Oh, she probably got mad questions for him too, actually. Yeah. Just say it, Robin. Say what you gotta say, girl. <sighs> yeah, he could be a lot of information. That's a great question, Robin, out of anything to ask. Mm -hmm. Goldie Roger, Monkey D. Luffy. In the blank century. Does he know? No way. <gasps> what? 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 He knows! Tower! Oh. Why? And Ohara might have hurried. Ohara was ahead of its time. He knows everything. Oh. Wow. Maybe this will find out even more. It's not just like a direct thing. Dude, that's big to give her that option, but it's like a part of her journey that she has to turn it down. It's like a shortcut. And up until this point, that journey wouldn't be worth a shortcut. Oh my gosh. What does he know? Roger didn't decipher. Like her. Clover was a librarian. Heard the voice of the universe? What? <laughs> she did. What is it, Usopp? What is it? You don't want a shortcut on this one, especially. Damn. What's the point in looking for it if you just told what it is? Doesn't want to know if it even exists. He, he probably loves hearing this too. What's the adventure if you know what's ahead? Damn, Luffy popped off. I'll die if I learn about the One Piece. Yeah, from what how people have talked about the new world. This is such a long stare down. The freest person in the sea. Damn. He sees them. Aww. Man, I thought he was going to explain the hockey energy. Yeah, dude, you're so chill. <laughs> Go shopping. Little do they know that they're like Kuma's here too. Zoro's going to get flashbacks. Oh, a card. He's got his tools. Three days. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. I didn't realize Luffy and them haven't even found out about the whole thing with Ace yet. Oh, my gosh. Sundown in three days. Just follow the card. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they should probably leave Kami. She'll just be in danger around them. That's okay, Achan. Oh my gosh! They're gonna go back and just see chaos! Ah! 
Oh no! What? He's on a cannonball! Ooh, Dude. Kizaru. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> this show, man, it's just, it's just nonstop. It's exhausting, but I'm like so addicted to it. The feeling is just, it's something else. What an insane episode to hit 400 at too. Such a big lore drop about like the, the actual truth behind Roger's execution. Because like I said, that never did make sense to me how he was caught. And now it does. It was all for the perspective of, of pirates and to start the new age. It wasn't that he got caught and executed and it just happened to set off all these new pirates in this new age. It was calculated. And I think one of my favorite takeaways from the episode is how much Rayleigh saw in Luffy, how he saw Roger in Luffy and how the crew didn't want these shortcuts because they know the journey is going to be well worth it if they can get to the end. Robin was handed the opportunity of a lifetime to find out what, what happened during the blank century. And she literally said no. It, sh it shows how far they've come and how willing they are to go to the ends of the earth to find what they're looking for all of them sanji probably could have asked them where the all blue sea was didn't it's just cool man it's 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 really cool what an what an amazing episode to cap off an, an insane run of episodes with everything with law and kid as well but guys that has been it for episodes 399 and 400 of our one piece watch through it is crazy how i'm 400 episodes into the show and i'm more like on board with everything happening and hyped to see what happens next than ever before it is so impressive drop us up if you're new and i will catch you in the next one peace peace